So there's nothing better than having a dedicated workspace for cleaning, maintaining your guns. So I'm gonna show you guys how I have my gun workbench set up, and this is where I do all my cleaning, maintenance, and even building some of these ARs. So this is how I set it up for my workflow, and if you guys are looking for any ideas, hopefully this will help you out and setting yours up as well. Stay tuned. So starting with the workbenches themselves, these are two separate wood benches that I made myself just using two by fours and three quarter inch plywood as the top. I just found these plans in a woodworking book that I had years ago and they're really simple and not too much time consuming to build these, but they are really sturdy. And I did put some extra supports in the middle here just so I can put a lot more weight on that top bench there and it doesn't bow in or anything. And you'll see I do have a bench block mounted to it as well. So on this bench, I put some extra two by fours here in the corner. So that way I was able to lag bolt this bench block. So that way I get a lot more grip without it moving on me. And another cool thing about these workbenches is you can add several layers to this. So the plan is actually called for a second layer of three quarter inch plywood and then a quarter inch um, board that went over that, but that seemed a little unnecessary and lumber prices being the way they are, I just go with the three quarter inch. This is actually the second top that I built for this. Um, the original one I used OSB and it just over time just started flaking. So I went with a higher grade plywood and it's just held up a lot better. And you can stain this, paint it, anything you want, but I like the look of just the standard wood by itself. So then moving up here to this toolbox, I keep this on the bench at all times, and this just houses all my cleaning tools that I'm gonna need for you know, general cleaning or even maintenance for these guns. So up top here in the top, there's just some extra brushes and picks. And then down here is where I keep a bev block and some tools for when I do build an AR, I keep those right there. And then I also have brushes and everything to run down the barrels of the guns. And then in the top drawer is where I keep all my patches. So obviously different calibers call for different size patches. So the second drawer is where I keep all the bore snakes and rods for cleaning the barrels of the rifle. And then the bottom drawer is where I keep some extra grips, Allen wrenches. You'll see that I have some punches here as well. So those come in handy if I need to take something down or even for rifle builds. And then I do have some other AR specific tools in here that I use for building the ARs as well. So everything is pretty handy in there that I generally need for any cleaning and maintenance and even building some guns. So everything's housed in there. So moving over to this bench block again, um, it is lag bolted like I said before, so it does allow me to put a lot of pressure on there without it moving or twisting on me. But I do like it for holding my lower receivers while I'm trying to build them or changing out parts as well as holding the upper receiver as well. And I do have this upper receiver block that will also go into the bench block as well in case I want to install a barrel or change out the muzzle brake on the rifle as well. That comes in really handy for that because then I can really torque down the barrel on this block here. And then I do have this Magpul Bev block that allows me to work on the lower receiver. But if you flip it around, it's also meant to hold the upper receiver as well in case you need to do some things with that. And over here, I have a magnetic mat. So that way any parts that I have and don't wanna lose, I use on here. So if I am building it a lower, I dump out the lower parts kits that houses all the detents and springs and that keeps those right there from rolling around because if you've ever built an AR-15, those springs and detents are precious and you don't wanna lose those. So over here is where I do all my long gun cleaning. You'll see I have a long tech mat right here and I highly recommend these if you're gonna be doing any gun cleaning, especially if you're doing it like say inside on your dining room table. Um, you don't want the wife getting mad at you for staining it with any gun cleaner. So this allows you to spray on it directly and it does not allow the cleaner to bleed through onto your finished table underneath there. It also keeps you from staining or scratching up your table as well. And it also is a soft top here, so it keeps your guns from scratching and everything like that. So highly recommend these tech mats. They come in all different sizes. They have small ones for your pistols like I have over here. And then they also have different colors. And the cool thing about them is depending on what gun you have, they have a blown out parts kit for you. And it kind of breaks down all the different parts that may be on that gun that you're using. And then back here, I do have the Tipton Best Gun Vice. So I use this for just setting the gun on there and doing some cleaning. 
I've tried building a rifle on here before and it's not really sturdy enough to do that. So I just kind of rest a rifle on there as I'm cleaning the parts. As you'll see, I have the Wheeler Delta Series AR-15 mag well vice block here and that allows me to set the ARs on there as I'm say taking off the upper or just doing a quick clean inside there. And it has all these slots here where you can put cleaners or parts or anything like that. And it does have these holes on all four sides where you could screw it down to your bench if you wanted to and that'll allow it to be a little more sturdy. And you'll see in the very back against the wall, I do have some bench height outlets. So if you have to plug anything in, they're right there and you don't have to run any extension cords. So we'll move up to this cabinet here. So this is just a cabinet I bought at Lowe's. I like stickers, so I tend to put stickers on everything. I have a Husky paper towel holder over here to house the shop towels. Because if you have ever cleaned a gun, you definitely need to wipe your hands down. And I also use those for gun cleaning as well. But inside this cabinet here is on the bottom shelf is where I house most of my gun cleaners. You'll see I have a variety of different lubes and gun cleaners and I've been trying out a bunch of different types throughout the years and I always end up with Ballastol as my go-to just because it is a cleaner and lubricator in one. So that's my go-to but you'll see I have a bunch of other stuff in case I want to use that and, and try something different. And then in here I also have these silicone cloths. These are awesome for keeping the gun finish, you know, wiping off any fingerprints. If you're going to do any long-term storage of your guns, I highly recommend these. Wiping the, the gun down with these before you storm them away to keep, helps keep them from rusting. And I also have some extra gun picks and then just miscellaneous garage stuff in there as well. Um, on the bottom of that, I have a Husky magnetic light. And then that just gives me a little bit of extra light if I need it. The batteries are pretty low in it right now, but it does get pretty bright. And then that way, if I need to light up a certain area so I can see it, um, I can just move that around and put it wherever I want to on that shelf. On the bottom of the workbenches is just some extra stuff I store down there and not really related to my gun cleaning, except for over here, I keep some distilled water because over here I have a Lyman Turbo Sonic cleaner. Highly recommend this, especially if you've ever shot a gun suppressed, especially like an AR-15, they get super dirty. So this thing is nice because you just fill it with that cleaner and that distilled water, let it heat up, heat up a little bit, and then you turn this thing on and then it gets all that crap off of there for you. I've also used it for removing Cosmoline because that can be a real pain. So the Sonic Cleaner helps you clean those smaller parts. It's really good and a lot faster than sitting there scrubbing it down uh, by hand. I'm gonna do a separate video on the Sonic Cleaner at some point, and then that way you guys can see how it actually works I'm gonna do it with some parts from a suppressed rifle that I shot and show you how they clean up really good from that sonic cleaner. And then down here on the bottom, I have the receiver for the speakers I have in here and I also have the TV hooked up to it. So that way, if I wanna watch a movie, listen to music or anything, I can. You'll see we have it on the YouTube channel up there right now. I have the Lyman trigger gauge. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video on some stuff with that I'll need it for. So you see over here is where I have some extra toolboxes as well. This is where I house all my screwdrivers, pliers, basically any hand tools that you can think of, I try and keep in there as well as my drills. So if I need those, I can just go over there and grab those as well. And then in this Plano case, I have a bunch of spare parts, mainly for the AR-15s. Um, I do a lot of building so and swapping out parts. So I usually keep any part that I take off just because you never know if you'll need it. And I do have a bunch of extra springs and detents because again, if you've ever built one, those things can go flying and it is almost impossible to find. So I do keep a um, extra set in here just in case that does happen. So that is how I have my gun workbenches set up. I do have this in a two car garage, so I do have a little bit more room than most people might. But if you are looking for some ideas on setting your area up, hopefully you found this video helpful. I will try and post some links in the description below on some of the items I use in case you wanna check those out as well. Also check out this video up here where I give you a full tour of my garage. I do run a small gun business out of here, so if you do that as well or just want some general storage ideas for your garage, check that out. Um, that goes into full detail of everything as well. So if you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.